Hello friends, welcome to online Selenium training. In this video we are going to learn what are assertion and verification and how to use it, and how to add comments and add new command in Selenium IDE. Let's see assertion or assert first. This allows the test to check if the element is on the page. If it is not available then the test will stop on the step that failed. The second is verification or verify. This also allows the test to check the element is on the page. But if it is not available then the test will carry on executing. Some of the verify and assert methods are Verify element present Assert element present Verify element not present Assert element not present Verify text Assert text Verify attribute Assert attribute Verify checked Assert checked Verify alert Assert alert Verify title Assert title So now we are going to see where to use assertion and where to use verification. For that, go to our recorded test of WordPress to add a new post. Click on open command to navigate to login page. To execute our test case, three elements should be present on our screen. If any of the element is not there on the web page, test case execution should be stopped. So what can we do here? We will use assertion for these three fields, username, password, Log in button. So select username text box. Right click on it. And find assert element present and select it from menu. Now we add comment what this assertion will do before this assert element present command. Now we add assert element present for password and log in button and add comment for that as well. After adding assertion, let's see where we use verification. 
We verify that. Remember me. Checkbox is present on the web page. Lost your password. Link is present on the web page. Back to WordPress demo install. Link is present on the web page. We use verify element present command here. We can use verify text as well. So we add this verification before click on login button. Once all added we add appropriate comment before each verification. Now we are ready to run this script. So let's do a dry run to check all working fine. Wow! All are green. All working fine. So till now. We had only check. Success test case. Now we try to fail test case using assertion and verification. What we do? We copy an assertion command and put it before type into. Post title text box. And we copy one verification command and put before assertion command. Because if we put after assertion command which is going to fail, then that verification command will never run. So let's do a dry run to check all working fine. So here we can see that when verification fails test execution don't stop. And when assertion fails test execution stopped at test step. So what we learned from this. When to use assertions and verification. When essential element is not present. When we performing action on that. Use assertion to catch this error and stop test execution. And. When we just check on something which appears on the web page after some sort of action. But we are not going to perform any action on that element, nor any test cases dependent on that element. At that time we use verification to catch this error and we don't stop test execution. As technically speaking verification is assertion surrounded by try catch block. How can we conform this? Let's export this test case to Java or JUnit or web driver code. For that, select test case. Go to file menu. Select export test case as. 
Select Java or JUnit or Web Driver option. Enter any name. Go to directory and open file with editor. Let's look at the verification command. We can't find them because all converted to assertion with try catch block. So now you know how and when to use assertion and verification. Thanks for watching.